everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Josh and this is working man reads today I will be reviewing the Atlas 6 by Olivia Blake and this is kind of a departure from what I usually read but I was interested because I like to venture out of my comfort zone I'm usually a horror reader but I do like some fantasy from now um, from time to time and this one uh, is kind of like a dark uh, academia um, alternate reality type story. Uh, the little catch phrase on the back is cool. It says secrets, betrayal, seduction, power. Welcome to the Alexandrian society. So in this world, we have six people and uh, they are younger kids, probably like college age. Um, so I would say young adult, but there's adult dark academia themes in this book so it's not really young adult or or shouldn't really be read by like a 14 year old or whatever the heck young adult means nowadays um but i did overall i think i gave it like three stars it's it's middle of the road for me i think that some things could have been executed better uh i did enjoy the the dark academia side of things uh i think that that's a fun little trope that we see in fantasy and it wasn't lost on me. I did appreciate it. And actually, the romance in it, which there's a few of the characters, you know, naturally there's going to be some romance. Uh, I didn't mind it, honestly. And I'm not a big romance guy, but I did kind of pull for some of these characters. I liked uh, the nerdy character that liked to read. I think her name was... I should have probably brushed up on the names of the people again, now that I've been out of it. But, uh, yeah, it's got these... I think it was Libby possibly yeah Libby's the one I think I like she's kind of the main character but they have these little uh, illustrations in here I'll show you a couple of them but like I said it's kind of an alternate reality where it's kind of present day but if there really was this so there's Nico so I think it's cool that they do these little chapter breaks with images um, but yeah, it's, so it's, it's present day, but there's a world where there's magic, and there is this Alexandrian society and this giant library um, and academia setting where these children go, and they basically obtain information and power and knowledge. So knowledge is power in this book. Oh, knowledge is carnage right at the top. I forgot that was one of the catch lines. But overall, I enjoyed it. Uh, I had some characters that I liked more than others. Believe it or not, I think my second favorite character, let's see if we can find a little picture of her in here, is probably the one that I think the author didn't want us to like. But I personally found her to have a lot of depth. And that's important. Oh, this was also a badass character. She could like control plants. We ended up finding out that, um, I can't remember her name, Rhea, possibly? I don't know. It's been a little bit since I read it. This one. So, uh, I can't remember her name, um, but she is, on, uh, it's not Tristan, because that's, that's one of the gentlemen in it, but she is basically the seduction, she seduces people. That's one of her powers. Um, as And I thought it was cool, because it kind of played on the age-old, you know, women have the power of seduction they they are beautiful and they some and some people use that or beautiful people tend to use that as a way of uh getting over on somebody um and she does use that as her uh kind of a way to get over men and kind of get what she wants but we end up finding out that she has a lot more to the character than that so overall i really i really loved it it would have been nice if i had brushed up on my character names but overall oh Parisa that's what I was just talking about Parisa but overall I liked it uh, I don't I think I'll probably read the next one I think I gave it like three or four stars I'll probably need to read the next one this was put out by Tor this is the Tor hardcover first edition uh, I actually got it at uh, Sam's Club so I got it pretty cheap but I'll definitely be picking up the next one and I'll give it a read because the writing style was actually pretty good so uh, have you read this let me know down below what you think